Hey what's up guys and welcome back to Fall of the Samurai, uh, this is my Toaster campaign, if you're new to the series please do go make sure you check out um, the other episodes before this and uh, my other Let's Plays, that would be really awesome if you guys could go and do that, and also uh, leave this episode a like or a comment telling me what you thought, um, but yeah let's get back to Fall of the Samurai, we left off last, uh, we literally just took this place up here, um, from a faction we were killing. We also got two really powerful alliances. We allow alliance. Uh, we've now got an alliance with the Satsumas here, and uh, someone else I'm not going to bother um, announce, uh, trying to pronounce, but they own pretty much all of this on the map. They're so basically two of the blue factions, and we have a red faction. Uh, we're also preparing to go to war with this faction over here, um, the light blue faction, we shall call them. Um, they're currently at war with my ally as well. Uh, this ally up here. So when they sort of move in for the kill, I'm gonna then go to war with them because they should hopefully move it, all their armies up here to defend this place, and then I can swoop in and take their settlements. Um, so that's hopefully the plan. Um, but because just looking at the settlement, that's getting them four grand a turn. I'm not even sure what they have here. Uh, some field artillery and a financial district, which gets them a little bit of money. Some farms and that hideout, whatever the fuck that is. But that's getting them a lot of money. Um, in both these places, so that's going to be really nice additions for my economy, um, which should hopefully give me a lot of money, and then I can start pushing off into uh, mainland Japan, and actually start fighting against um, the Shogunate clans, instead of having to fight my Imperial brothers in arms, so that, I think that would be quite nice, and hopefully then the Satsumas will probably come back me up as well, um, because they are powerful as fuck, they have that entire island now, which is about mm, seven provinces I'd probably say. And that's a lot of land if you think about it. But they're just the only worry. They have a lot of troops, and I need I I can't take him down alone. I I can't f like support that many troops, um, because they have about two and probably about two stacks altogether, including levies and stuff like that. So I need uh, my allies, the orange people, no blue people, to actually send some troops over and try do the damage to them. But at the moment they're looking like they don't really want to. But hopefully they, they do soon. They're bombarding it, I mean. Yeah, they're, they're bombarding it, which is good enough, really, at the moment. Um, I brought back a decent-sized army as well. So I can start getting ready to, and building up, really. I'll bring them back here because, obviously, this will be the main frontier, I guess. Because that's where the main army is. So I'll bring that back and I'll leave my, uh, my reasonably nice navy in the port. Just for now, to chill and not really do much. And I'll keep on using this time to spend my money, upgrading my stuff. I don't think I can actually upgrade anything at the moment, but next turn I'll be able to. And I believe my port is almost done as well, which is cool. Uh, my trading port will be done next turn, two turns. And then, I'll, then I can start a recruiting foreign units. I'm not sure if I can start recruiting foreign units, but I can start doing something with the foreign people, which will be cool. And yeah, you can see there's what there was one there. There was actually like a general there or something. So obviously they've got a port, which doesn't surprise me because they're probably very far ahead compared to me with my four places. But oh yeah, it's these people, they keep on building troops and it's scaring me a lot. And I'm not quite sure, because I can't really just hold off forever, I need to eventually go to war with them. I probably should have done this earlier, that probably should have been the first thing for me to do really. But then again, I didn't... They were my ally at one point, so I didn't want to piss them off. Foreign Affairs has also been done now as well, so I got that, which allows me to uh, recruit like Royal Marines and stuff. And many of you were saying, um, I was surprised actually, because quite a few of my viewers are actually American, and there was only about two people who said, uh, go down the American route. Uh, the majority of you guys uh, said to go down the British route, so I will uh, please you guys and appease you and uh, do that. So I'll go down that. Oh, that would be very nice to have. Increase, uh, reduces 18% of administration costs. Um, oh, that could be very nice. That increases my happiness and my population. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm probably going to go down, the, um, go down this uh, wave again. Probably get a few more. Maybe Neil Fire, because that will be very juicy to get. Maybe a bit of musket. So I don't know. But I'll get that uh, thing to increase the happiness of my people. Um, and then I'll go down that route. So yeah, now that's is done, I can upgrade that, that's 4 grand, but it gives me a lot of money that makes people less happy. Um, increase this, yeah, this is what I want to do. I want to do that, I get a little bit less money, but it makes my uh, things industrialise quicker, and it generates more profit over time, so that's good, yeah. 
Uh, this army still moving. I will get, eventually get there. It's, it will take them forever, though, to get there. Solely because um, they have to go through uh, awful terrain. And they're just building up armies. I don't think they're actually at war with anyone at the moment. So they're just sort of building up stacks and stacks until they want to go to war. And then they'll probably have like 9,000 troops just ready to fuck shit up. Oh, they're just building up more troops. Fucking stop, please. Uh, or at least, oh, I just want them, someone to just move in against them. Like, they're at war with my allies. So, hopefully, the allies will eventually fucking fight them and not take forever to fight them. That'd be nice. That's really what I'm counting on. Oh, I encountered some more clans. I'm not quite sure how I encountered this clan. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how I encountered this clan. But I did, nonetheless. Hmm. Oh, trade. Ah, oh, because I'm trading uh, with the Americans, apparently. And who else? Is it just the Americans I'm trading with? Or does it go off? Yeah, I think it goes off in all three directions. Maybe. Yeah. I believe it does, yeah. The French. Yeah, and then the British, obviously. And quite a few other people are as well. So this should uh, boost my money. Yeah, you can see I've gone up to two grand, so I've got an increase of about... Four or five hundred gold now, which is uh, lovely. Uh, now, so yeah, that's going up, and then all oh, I have to save up for this. Yeah, I'll save up. Um, it'll only take two more turns, and then I'll go ahead and grab one of these. Um, I think I'll do the British one solely because that's what the majority of you guys said you wanted to see. So that's what I'll do. Uh, I do apologise because I, I personally thought it'd be cool to go down the uh, French route because not many people have uh, seen that. But I think I could probably get multiple trade routes and. Um, then have multiple uh, districts, so I'll be able to go down all three, hopefully, um, eventually, when I have enough money. But yeah, I think that'll be quite cool to go down all three. I'm actually definitely going to be a better edge in battle against my war against them guys, because if I have fucking uh, British Royal Marines just mowing down people, um, I think I'll definitely have the advantage over their Japanese muskets when I have the well-trained British uh, Marines. Oh, my geisha increased in rank. And, oh, here we go. Um, we have been approached by a British supporter, in Emperor. They have offered to uh, establish missions to improve our military. What does that do? Enables the construction of a British trade. Yeah, I want the British. So what, does they do that automatically? Or what? No, they don't do it automatically, but I can only do that one. Okay, that's cool. We'll just have to wait till the next turn before we do that. Hire a foreign veteran. Yes, we hired one. I'm not 100% sure what they do. I think they train troops and make them better. I believe they train troops and make them better, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, we want one. And let's have a look. They have fought and survived in many battles. Yeah, so they ex make troops more experienced and make them better marksmen. So yeah, they just make them better really. So I'll leave that within a, a army and hopefully it should train them. They can go in there now. And I will upgrade my Geisha as well. As she has leveled up. She's level 3 now. Um, one happiness when people are in this presence. So that makes uh, this place increasingly happy now. That should be, yeah, that's plus eight now. So that's um, very happy and give me quite a bit of money. Slowly increasing. Uh, so yeah, we'll end the turn again. I'm just going through these turns really quickly so that we can uh, slowly advance through the turns and uh, eventually be able to get Royal Marines. Because I just want to have Royal Marines. Oh, if I built the um, HMS Warrior as well, no one would literally be able to stop me <laughs> in battle. Like, in the naval battle at least, I would own the seas. Because I just, <laughs> you can't physically, like, it's so hard to take it down. The advanced war, uh, ironclads are just so strong. It's literally so hard. I mean, I was fighting against it um, in a custom battle, and I had about six or seven ships, and it just, just went to town on me. <laughs> it just literally was just killing everyone. Um, what does this do? Oh, increases my money. Which is lovely. So I get even more money. 
And my dude has leveled up here as well. Uh, let's have a look. So let's give you one of these. One reputation in the man's... Yeah, that's good. And we shall give you an assassination or... Or persuading troops. I can use him to bribe people. So I'll do that. He might come in handy at one point. Um, back to this place. I just have a little bit too little. Yeah. So next turn we'll be able to get that. And we'll stick him in there and allows him to recruit better. I think it gives them more chevrons, maybe. The more I could do, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm sure only time will tell. Um, yeah, so it's Emma turn one last time, and then we can start spending the extra money we're getting on troops to obviously go to war. Um, because what well, it takes 10 turns for that um, trade port to completely finish with the British um, embassy there and shit like that. So it's going to take a long time, 10 turns. So with that time we can prepare for war and build up a decent army to obviously kill these dudes. We also need to upgrade our town at some point as well to get cannons. Because we can't just have complete rifles, we'll get shot to shit by cannons. So we need to upgrade our town as well as that to have it. Hello, uh, what is she? Yeah, we will let him marry her. And it's summer. How lovely. What does summer do again? It, it increases replenishment rate. So summer's really the best time to actually go to war. There you go, that's done. It'll take 10 turns. So that's almost done as well, so that should boost our economy even more as well. Uh, <clears throat> so let's start building. Oh no, it gives me an extra slot, I think. Um, so yes, build three more units of line infantry. Um, how much it's cost me five grand to do that to upgrade this base? I might get rid of this so I could because I don't need to build infantry here. If I get rid of that, then I can uh, make a cannon workshop and then I'll obviously um, I'll split them between the two. Um, yeah, that sounds like a plan. So one can be my like solely building infantry and the other can be solely building uh, rifles and then eventually when I have enough money to upgrade it, I will then. Um, be able to uh, like put one back in there, put an infantry division barracks, I guess you'd call it, uh, back in there. So yeah, that sounds like a plan. I am a man with uh, the plan. So yeah, I'll get about 2,800 uh, koku after this turn. So that should be, be able to, I should be able to spend that quite nicely. Uh, yeah, so there's another three more units I've got here, which is very nice. Um, I need to get cannons, so that's what I need to be doing. Um, oh, what's that? Training camp. Yeah, so wooden cannons, and then obviously upgrade them from that. I still have a grand value to spend. Could get another ship. That could be a definite, definite, a definite. A definite isn't a word, Jake. Uh, I know that now. Um, a definite. It's definitely a possibility. There we go. Got my words out after being retarded. Um, let's get cotton industry going, maybe. Yeah, let's get the cotton industry going now. Or give me more money. So normally in Shogun, I don't know. I'm not great at Shogun. I was a lot better at uh, games such as like Rome, Medieval. I think it's much simpler and a lot easier to be better at them type of games. Um, a lot, lot easier. And Shogun obviously takes a lot a lot more concentration and a lot more skill to be good, um, in my opinion. Like, at the campaign, at least. On multiplayer, you just fucking spam Nakanata uh, monks and shit and just kill everything. But, like, in the campaign, it's a lot harder because they've obviously made it a lot a lot harder. I say harder twice in that sentence. They've made it a lot more difficult because um, they've obviously... The AI is a lot smarter now. So I find it is is extremely difficult to thrive on very hard... Uh, yeah, we upgrade him. He's like level 4 now. He is getting strong. What's even this? Uh, what even is the final one? Uh, let's just keep on going now on this tree. Why the hell not? And give him another retrain uh, retainer. There you go. That's cool. He's quite strong now. He's going to be very good. I'm obviously going to stick him in my army when I eventually do go. So still eight turns to that's done. I can upgrade that and get better riflemen, but I'm gonna wait and actually upgrade my town, I think. Um and my cannon range is on in two. 
Oh, I could get a trade, another trading port there. That'll give me a lot more money. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, solely because that that will give me a lot more money, um, and then I can obviously hopefully go down like the French or the American route as well as. But I'm not sure if you can only go one. I remember reading somewhere you can go down all three, but uh, don't quote me on that. I I I would not know. And it looks like they're they're building the marijuana over there in the fucking Satsuma land. Maybe they're inbreding them in Satsumas, marijuana in Satsumas, and feeding them to their enemies as a peace treaty. And when they get all high, they just go ahead and kill them. That's, I think that's exactly what they're doing. So yeah, that's still building. I'm getting, how much money am I getting? I'm getting a lot of money from Satsuma. They're obviously selling me their weed. Um, fucking hell, the British and that all together are giving me 724. It's a lot of money. Um, so yeah, that's almost built. My cannon range is almost built next turn, I believe. Um, also, I was playing online and someone had a, a wooden cannons and they're just awful. They really aren't too great. Like they're good, they're, they're good to scare people, which is very good. But apart from that, they're awful. Oh, you can see I have a, uh, I have this place is defended with uh, um, emplacements. So if this port was to be attacked and I had the fleet in it, they would um, actually fear the wrath of my emplacements. I don't actually have one here, but I have one over here, which is quite cool. I really want to have that, because obviously when I start fighting actual Japan, like obviously I'm, I'm in Japan now, but when I actually fight against the Shogunate, um, hopefully there'll be a lot, well, well there'll be naval battles, because at the moment I haven't fought a single naval battle, which is a bit gay, um, but hopefully I will be able to. I need to keep on building up my strength though, because when I start building up cannons as well, um, which will be obviously a different aid for me because I should be able to field cannons so I can make them physically they have to come to me otherwise they're just going to get shot to shit uh, free my cannons so that's really the plan is just to make them come to me um, and that has now been researched so people are more happy uh, what does that even do because I might still stay down here I don't really need this uh, shit I don't really use agents too much so yeah, back down this place, um, copper painting, yeah, I'll do that so I can get a military port somewhere. Oh, actually, what's that? No, I don't really want that. So yeah, I'll go down here, Ew, even, I don't know, I might get exploding shells, because exploding shells are fucking awesome. Um, I had one, uh, I had an exploding shell online, and I just pierced straight through this guy's, um, uh, shit, like his, his hole and it just blew everything up. It, it was pretty pretty awesome, I'm not going to lie. Um, and we're still not going to walk, they just they have so much money and they're just <laughs> not using it and getting ready to kill me. And I'm extremely scared, so I'll upgrade that. Cannons are actually built. Um, I can get some wooden ones. Can I upgrade it? How much is it going to cost me to upgrade my cannon range? And then I actually get uh, parrot guns, which are a lot better. So three grand. It's gonna take me two turns to then research that. What I'm gonna do? I'm not really gonna do anything. I'm just gonna skip through a couple turns and not make you go watch them because it'll be just the same thing over and over again. It get a little bit boring. And then when I start building my army, I'll bring you guys back. So I'll see you guys um, in about two seconds. Okay, my uh, cannon range is not ready yet. It's literally just upgraded now. Um, so I'm only just about to actually not even now. Next turn, I believe even. Yeah, next turn I'll be able to feel uh, parrot guns. But it's too late. Um, my ally has moved against um, this, uh, the light blue faction and has taken their settlement. They've then reacted to go take it back. But um, this is obviously a perfect opportunity for me to move. So I'm going to do so. Um, leave my spears here. Uh, take him with me because uh, he gives uh, he he leveled up. So and he gives my uh, men. He did come, didn't he? No, he didn't. Um, he gives my men plus um, plus five. Reloading skills whilst in uh, combat. I mean, whilst uh, with this army. So I'm gonna go ahead and move him along with them. Um, and next turn, we will go ahead and declare war. Um, we should also be able to start banging out some uh, parrot guns as soon as that's done. We're getting so much money now, uh, thanks to these trade. Um, yeah, since the trades opened up, and it might even my internal, the Tosu, I am trading with now. I'm a Tosu. That's a Tosu. Um, is giving me so much money now as well alongside of a Satsuma and just so many people. So I'm getting about three, well I am getting three grand a turn, which is ridiculous, which will allow me to keep on upgrading my places, um, making them very profitable. I mean, I increased the farms there, that's so much money. Increased my railroads, um, 
which will industrialize my clan, give better growth, and enable railroads. So yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, seven turns, so that's done. We haven't got any money now to spend this turn, but nonetheless, it's so good. Um, we also be able, we'll be able to build a, a military port soon as well. So what I'll do, when I probably take this place, I will then probably make this into a military port, most likely, and that's my friend being a dick. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get off of Steam. Also, if you wanna add me on Steam, feel free. It's just Jackie Fish, and uh, that should um, go ahead and do that. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and end the turn. And then next turn, we go to war. And it should be quite nice, because hopefully them two take each other out. Um, obviously, I want my ally to sort of win, but I don't. I want him to lose, but I want him to kill a lot of their troops. Because I want him to lose, because um, I want that settlement. So I want him to kill a lot of their men, but also to um, lose the settlement, so I can have the entire island. But if my ally still has that at the end of the day, it's not the worst thing. Um, in the world, I'll still be taking it back eventually uh, when I declare war on everyone and go mad with power. Um, yeah, that's nice. That's been built now. Uh, copper plating. Um, so we will then go ahead and uh, grab. Apparently, revolver cab are fucking amazing. They're just like little machine guns. Um, we will go ahead and go down. We'll get Neil Fire next because Neil Neil Fire will be very nice um, for my men. Uh, so yeah, we all we will be ready. Um, declare war. I'm probably gonna wait till um, this faction they've actually fought each other before I decide to go to war like properly. Or actually, I can catch their ship. I want to have a naval battle, so fuck it. Let's declare war this turn. Um, there you go. That's built now as well, which is cool. Uh, so what does that mean? Does that mean I can recruit Royal Marines? Yes. There we go. There are the boys. They are so good. Let's recruit fucking... Oh, they're so expensive. Can I record... Uh, rec recruit? Oh my god. There she is. 16 grand. and She's 2 grand in her upkeep costs. Her whole strength is 10,000. Cannons, cannons 42. That is fucking ridiculous. That is so strong. Um, that obviously have to be a beauty we put on the sea eventually. Um, but that is ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I want a naval battle, so let's uh, go ahead and declare war. Uh, where are you? Oh, we can um, start trading with this faction as well. The more money we'll get. Come. Yeah, you can see all our trade. Um, I've done it whilst... Uh, we have a shush, man. Um, I did it whilst uh, you guys weren't watching. I just made uh, trade agreements with everyone. So it's even more trade. We can do more trade with even more people as well, uh, which is very nice. So we are just... Becoming a trade empire, some would say. Okay, is that everyone we can trade with? Yep, that's everyone. So yeah, thirty-six grand, and we've we got a full stack as well. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and declare war now. Even that's what I was meaning to do. Actually, what I'll do is I'll try to be a little bit snide. Who's my ally? It's these guys, isn't it? What will you give me if I offer to join your war? Uh, join your war against these two guys. Then after we have agreed, what other pleasures will you give will me something? Enjoy? Will you give me a grand if I do that? Uh, I want you to give me a grand. I don't want to give you a grand. Yeah, how much? I'll see how much I can actually get from them to join their war. Oh, no. I want two grand. Two grand, that would be satisfactory. Um, let's see what you say. Oh, they must refuse it, so I'll quickly just uh, do that it for a grand. To see a friendly face. Two grand, even, because that, that was a little bit too much. I will crest to join war, I will join wars against them. Yep. There we go, so we're now at war with them two dudes, um, but that's worth it, we got two grand for it. So yeah, let's first off do that. And second off, let's have a naval battle. This will be an awful naval battle because they don't have any ships there. Whereas I have... Yeah, exactly. They have that small ship, whereas I have two rather good ships. But nonetheless, it shall be done. Because I want to bring you guys this first naval battle um, where I just kick some ass. That's for planning. <laughs> I laugh that ship was like a, like a fucking warrior class and I didn't look at it properly. And I went back on it and it just was just massive. And it had like 40, I think, yeah, the ironclad, um, the HMS Warrior had 42 guns or 62 guns, one or the other, but it's just ridiculous. 
and it, yeah, it costs two and a half grand to fucking uh, for upkeep. But I guess that pretty much can take on so many ships because just the amount. It probably doesn't take any damage. You probably definitely need to research armor-piercing shells for for it to do anything against it. So yeah, let's uh, just fight this bad boy. Oh, here are my ships. I've got my two gunboats, um, which are just cool. They're very cheap. Online, I like them. Just because they're, sold, they're solely, they're extremely cheap. I mean, they have two, they have like, so you can pretty much fight them like this. You can keep them straight on and you can just outrange the enemy because there's no real point going, using a broadside against them. You might as well just stay uh, flat on against them. I've got this bad boy, uh, which is my flagship. It's uh, quite nice. It's, it has about 16 guns and then I have my other uh, big ship over here. The men are ready to attack, sir. Uh, let's have a map up as well, please. So just so we can solely see. Oh, they're turning up. They've turned sideways. I don't think they're they're looking to really uh, fight me too much. I think they just want to <laughs> get ready. They're just gonna sit here and not move. But you wouldn't even be able to see. If I was them, I, like if it was real life, I might just be running away in this ship. Even though my gunboats would obviously eventually catch them. Look how quick they are as well. They're just gonna get ahead of my uh, rest of my troops really quickly. And online, it does take you a bit of like it does sort of give you a bit you have to have a bit of micro skill because you have to keep on clicking on these because I mean these come back really quickly look that's almost back it's 30 seconds I think we cool down for all of these so you have to keep on like doing it and then quickly going back and then doing it and then quickly going back it does take a while um to, like you have to keep on checking every ship instead of just like saying oh I'm gonna put my ship here and I hope it broadsides you actually have to uh, think about some stuff is there water in my is my ship sinking that looks like it's sinking, I'm not going to lie. Let's hope it doesn't sink, I don't want it to sink. But yeah, these bad boys. I mean, this is only on medium graphics as well, and like, it does look really nice. That does look awesome. And I might actually be getting a uh, partnership with TGN, so when I get that and I actually start getting a bit of money, um, I might actually be able, to build, like, be able to build a really nice computer to show you guys um, some uh, awesome gameplay. So that'd be awesome if that, if that could actually happen. I really look forward to that. Oh, and also, oh my god, I was playing online the other day and um, I had a like, really expensive ship. Like, it was so nice, it was so expensive. Um, and yeah, so I, I was like, I was like, I have to make sure this is used well because I spent so much money on it. And the first shot they shot off blew it up completely. And then you have the American guy who's just like, Sir, sir, may I inform you that your ship has exploded? And you're just like, oh, for fuck's sake. And you just see it explode, and it is very emotional. I, cut, I remember cutting myself several times in the process of that naval battle. And, and like, their generalship as well destroyed me. It just really just went to town on me. Um, I had no chance. And, yeah, let's keep on overheating these engines just on my gunboats. I don't really want to... I mean, there's, there's little, but no reason not to overheat. I think it might increase the chance of your ship blowing up or something like that, but um, or your ship catching on fire, but it doesn't really matter too much. I mean, they're going fucking fast, and they should hopefully be able to shoot soon. They're probably going to take a broadside soon, very soon, but nonetheless, um, they should be able to shoot soon. I mean, my range isn't great, it's about here for a range. Let's send them towards their death. And maybe I can just win it just with these bad boys, but I want to obviously encircle it. We, yeah, there we go. Ooh, that took a bit of damage there. Let's split them up now. Actually, not, let's keep them there. Keep on going forward, boys. Stick you on with fast reload as soon as you shoot. There we go. That's one shot. And then let's bring you round my side. We'll split you guys up. Oh, nice hit, nice hit by them. Uh, we'll have this ship uh, turn round here. So it's on its broadside, ready to shoot there. Oh, they're actually moving now as well. And this ship can go a uh, long way around there. Oh, that ship is taking a pounding. I was thinking about retreating as well. Probably wasn't the smartest idea just to send them off straight away. Turn them around. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't the smartest idea. 
Oh, they just hit into each other. Who took? Whoa! Oh shit! That probably they just took a massive bit of fire. My general is fine, thank you very much. Oh yeah, let's get him in first person mode as well. That ship is taking a pounding though. That needs to get out of there quickly. Uh, this ship as well. Let's turn this round. Stick him on fast reload and let's go first person. It's turning ready to give a nice little volley. Give it a broadside, men. Oh, that was a nice hit. Let's keep on going. Keep on doing this. We were routing it already. Oh, that was a nice hit again, boys. Just keep on hitting it. See some of the damage we're doing. It's not stopping though, which is kind of scary. Why is it not stopping? <laughs> Take it down, Legolas! Alright, oh, routed. I just want to make it blow up. I want it to blow up. Probably should be using this ship as well instead of just. That's what first person mode does. It just makes you so zoomed in. Oh, my ship is sinking as well over here. It's sinking! No! Get out of battle, my men! Ah, <laughs> it sunk. No, actually, no, it might have just survived. I don't know. Oh, it's so funny. Um, I'm, I've probably mentioned it several times, but when me and Lionheart were at the uh, Creative Assembly Open Day, um, he rammed one of my ships and it was it was sinking, but it was still going. Um, so it was sort of half in the water. It just looked like it was about to fly out, like a dolphin doing a dive. It was quite funny. But yeah, that was quite a success. Well, obviously, we were going to win that. We typically took a few more casualties than we were supposed to. But nonetheless, I thought it was an honourable victory for my fleet. An undefeated fleet, one would argue. <laughs> uh, as soon as we get the warrior class, it's just going to be so funny. Because no ships are going to be able to do anything against it, but it's just so powerful. You just only probably all need to be focusing on it. Yeah, so we pretty much destroyed that. We captured their ship, um, which is nice. And I'm not sure if we sell it or, yeah, we actually keep it. So that's another ship we uh, to add to our navy. And let's bring them back to start bombarding uh, these dickheads over here. Because that's uh, a lot more guns as well now. That just adds an extra like, couple shells to my bombardment. Um, we're about to take this settlement. So I'll go ahead and end the turn in a second. Can we get pivot guns yet? Yeah, we can get pivot guns now as well, or parrot guns, I'm not sure why I call them pivot guns, parrot guns even, sorry. So yeah, let's get two of them, bad boys, and M turn. Um, our Royal Marines should be done, oh, actually no, I'm not sure if I like, recruited them at all, ah, I'm not sure if I clicked recruit, um, I guess we'll soon find out any second now when the turn ends, and um, I hope my ally, yeah, as I was, I was saying, but, uh, no I don't want a peace treaty with you, a bitch, I want to kill you. Oh, they won, they won. But nonetheless, um, I still have a strong army and I can hold their castle easily. And when I get them guns out as well, then um, when I get the, the parrot guns out, that should <laughs> definitely help me out because parrot guns are very good um, in my experience with them online. Trade disrupted, um, suck a fatty. Uh, let's go ahead and bombard these uh, bitches. Oh, we killed quite a few. I mean, their troops look like they're just all levy troops. So, yeah, I'll be able to beat that in combat because I've got actually got proper, proper line infantry with my foreign veteran. Yeah, I found out what a foreign veteran does. He does upgrade your troops, uh, trains them slowly. Um, there's no real need to fight this at all. I mean, I outnumber them massively. So, yeah, let's just auto-resolve this battle. I lost seven men in the taking of that settlement. Or peacefully occupy it because I want to um, obviously make this one of my core settlements. Uh, we will go ahead and repair. Oh shit, that cost me a lot of money. Um, but obviously that will get me a lot of money. That must be. Yeah, that, that's quite expensive, but it still gets me a lot of money. When these are all rebuilt, it should be fine. Um, how much do they hate me? They actually reasonably like me, um, and this should go. The resistance should go eventually, which will be nice. Um, just gonna keep on. I need to make sure could they could go from one of my settlements here, which won't be great because I don't have anything defending them. Um, and my foreign veteran should technically be training the troops here as well. Yeah, he's slowly training them, which is nice. Um, 
I also built a trading pool here, so hopefully I get a um, offer from the Americans or something like that to add another trade in to there. But yeah, I'm getting a lot of money from everyone here as well, which is nice. Let's go ahead and end the turn again, and um, hopefully they come and try and fight me, because technically they have a greater army than me. Um, they have a lot more numbers, and if they, they attack me, then I, yeah, I think that's what they're doing. And if they do go for my settlement, um, as I, I yeah, blah, 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 sorry, just spoke all retarded then. If they go for my settlement, I can then go for them, because I think it'll take me less time to actually go for them and get their troops, because I'll be going along roads, and I think it's, it, well, it is a shorter distance. So as soon as I see them doing that, and it's winter, so I don't really fancy going at them in winter. Um, so what we got here, we, we need something which gives us money here really, this isn't going to be a great place to recruit. So let's go ahead and grab an inn really, there's nothing really we need, I mean we've got a craft workshop here, which is just getting us loads of money. And yeah, so it's all going well, we, got, we get about a grand a turn, did we build any, um, uh, we did, we got one here. Which we will obviously bring up to the front. He can come up, like the beast he is, and we'll, we won't actually get another one. We will keep on letting keep on letting our money go up, and we will give them another bombardment. Destroyed a bit of their gambling den, which will reduce their money, which is uh, very nice. Prepare the guns. Uh, we need to repair this now as well. That's only 800, so that's fine. And then next turn, if they do decide to go for me, I will go ahead and go for them. Because how long should it take me to get there? If I took a small force, or if I took it all, yeah, it would take me two turns. Yeah, two turns to get there. It would take them a lot longer. Me, but I Why can you not? So yeah, that is going very well. And then when we take them guys out, um, up in the top left, we can then go and take out these guys on their own little island. And then we can start pushing into Japan, uh, into actual Japan, and fighting the uh, Shogunate scum. And when we wipe them completely out, um, we can then I don't know focus on becoming king of the world, king of the known world. And then we will invade Europe, and then we'll invade the moon, and then we'll have a moon base, and we can have a moon base all the way. Where? Why are you unhappy? I guess I just took out so many troops. Um, I'll go ahead and exempt you from tax. How much does it reduce it by? A lot. A lot. Let's recruit some more troops here. ASAP. Um, let's recruit some more spear levies. <laughs> they can be my spear levy capital. Uh, that's quite cool as well. They look different because they're foreign troops. Um, yeah, and my parrot guns should be done soon as well. Where are you? There you guys are. It's going to take me so long to get them up here. Oh, it's just going to go on forever to get my uh, parrot guns up. Oh, so annoying. If only I would have built one here. Actually, did I do that? Oh, I didn't upgrade it. I thought I did, but I didn't. Um, and Matt's almost built as well. We're building up a commercial farm, which will give us a little bit more money. Uh, we've got the inn building uh, there. Actually, no. Oh, that's, I'm an idiot. I thought that was somewhere else. I'm not sure why I thought it was somewhere else, but I did. I want a cannon range there. Um, yeah, I don't know why I thought it was somewhere else, but I did. And we'll give them that army a nice bombard. And yeah, kill a few more men, upgrade our ships a little bit more. Do a little bit of damage to them. Um, how's our research doing? We get Neil Fire in four turns, which should pretty much guarantee us victory over the scum. Oh, I'm not trading with them. I'm not quite sure why I'm not trading with them. But I am not, so we will crest. Uh, good to see a we will request a uh, trade from them. Should definitely boost up our money by a couple hundred, and we should get around about 6k next turn, which is nice. Uh, I might spend that on having a juicy navy, or just getting some more foreign, uh, some British marines. Oh, their army moved, here we go. No, because I want your lands. Brave men. No, I haven't fought you once, so no brave men have died. Um, yeah, so they've moved their army to go and I'd get me and I'm going to move my army to go get them. And hopefully I can do it before, because if they get to my place, I am screwed. Um, I'm going to have to move my parrot guns back as well, uh, solely because um, they are... Yeah, they are too... They're not going to make it in time, so they're just get intercepted, so let's bring them back. I guess it aids a little bit more defence as well. Um, they can 
follow up and meet up eventually, but this army needs to be going ASAP. I need to leave some troops back and defend as well, which is annoying. Um, oh, I can get fucking paragons from here, so I don't need I don't need to build a cannon range here. So that's just stupid of me. Uh, yeah, cancel that, and we will build the in here actually. Um, everything else is done pretty much. Uh, cannon range, yeah, police station. Actually, we might build a police station here because it makes people step in line. And I will just build the in there, which is cool. Um, and yeah, I guess the army will go out um, with my foreign vet as well. And we will go ahead and wipe out the faction. I mean, they're going to be fucking unhappy now. But if I exempt them from tax for for, for the moment and move my foreign vet with me uh, to train the troops and then they'll catch up eventually so yeah that sounds like a good plan because by the time they get there I should have taken their last place which should wipe them out from the game um, should I say hopefully it does <laughs> otherwise it's going to be very awkward so I should be able to get my next turn um, yeah they're continuing on going they're moving everything out so I should be able to attack that next turn, I should be able to take it next turn as well. Uh, which should, yeah, make that faction uh, null and void. And then I can focus on getting the island, and then I have a lot of land, a lot of money, and uh, British Marines to come and aid me. And I've gone up a development level as well, how lovely. Uh, don't want to do clan management, do I? I want to go reset. So yeah, I can get all this now as well which is just increases income and I can't get any of this yet because I haven't got the follow up shit for it um, yeah so it's all good all good oh my net, my railroads are built as well up here I swear I upgraded them do they build? yeah one more turn till they build which is nice um, so yeah let's go ahead and take their last place oh shit that's not too great it's going to take me another turn to get there how long my cannons can only move that far this could be very awkward Ready for battle. On the move, yeah oh shit they might be able to get me which might be very awkward let's recruit some troops in a desperate attempt let's get some rifles and let's hope we can hold it and we'll increase we'll keep on moving up our royal marines with them and have we got any troops here just chilling just some more spears to keep them happy they're still really unhappy though, which I don't like. What is it? Oh, modernisation, because we went up a level. Yeah, that's fair enough. They will stop crying eventually. Um, we go down to six grand if we do that. Oh, they all really unlike, they really don't like the modernisation, do they? The scum. Oh, well, we got enough money to do that. I just want to keep everyone happy. I can't have, I can't be at war in times like this. I need to have a, I mean, I can't be in civil war. In times like this, I need to keep all my people happy. So yeah, let's end the turn again um, and see what they do. Hopefully they can't reach my settlement by there. And I'm embracing the new, which I think is uh, become a really developed nation. Uh, I assume having the highest industrial level. Doesn't look like they got it, so it looks like they're all completely wiped out. And if they're not completely wiped out, then I'll just fight them and kill them. Um, so either way, Jake wins... Because I am most certainly by winning. Unless I'm bipolar. And then I'm pretty screwed. So yeah, let's end. So this is when this ends. Oh, my guy increased in rank as well. How awesome. Let's upgrade him quickly. Um, yeah, let's uh, increase his ability to train. And let's give him a... What's that? Increases, yeah, that's reloading spiel, uh, speed. Yeah, so let's give that so all the men under his command get a bonus in reloading. And we will make sure we use our ships one last time to hit them where it hurts. Um, killed, almost killed their general. Um, killed quite a few men there, and then we will completely wipe them out. And yeah, obviously just do that. We lost 11 men, which is fine, and we will just uh, peacefully occupy. We got 22 grand if we would have looted it, and their armies are gone. Lovely. Um, so now we need to focus on killing this faction over here, 
that's the last faction we're at war with and then we have a nice little empire but that'll be all for next episode um I, i'm sorry um i didn't actually bring you guys a battle this was mainly just um but yeah this wasn't really a battle at all this was just me talking thinking about it um so yeah i apologize for that there will most certainly be battles next episode and i'll make them good battles um where i kick uh, just fuck some people up um so yeah i'll make sure you do that um please do go ahead and click the subscribe button because it does mean a lot uh, that you guys keep on doing that um so yeah thank you guys for doing that i will keep on making episodes if you keep on subscribing um and uh yeah so see you guys next time and uh fish out